<clears throat> he's, uh, he's on his way. I just texted him, so. Did he text you back? Nope. Nope. All right, everybody, start to shut up. Ralph, what brings you here? You're late. I'm, I'm covering for you. It's school policy. You can't leave these students unattended. Is that a real rule? That's nuts. He literally leaves us alone all the time. Uh, narc much? Just, just try to be on time. All right, yeah, totally. Come on, dude. Is it, uh, just gonna get some, uh... Hey! hey Ralph. Jack, where are you going? Uh, I need sun chips. We just discussed this. You, you can't just leave because you want chips. Ah, come on. So I had an interesting morning. As I was pulling out of my dead mom's driveway, I turned on my number one NPR voice crush, Terry Gross, only to find that she was interviewing my rival, Miles. I was so distracted by this injustice that I accidentally backed over a possum, specifically his lower half. Uh, he was flat from about here down, and he was shouting uh, a lot. Now, this presented me with an interesting philosophical dilemma. Was it kinder to let this animal slowly die or to bash it to death with a big wrench? Once I'd done so, I turned and saw that one of the possum's relatives was staring right at me. He'd witnessed the entire thing. This presented me with another beautiful philosophical dilemma. Was it kinder to let this new possum be driven mad by what he'd seen? Or do I bash him to death with a giant wrench as well? Needless to say, my morning became a veritable killing field situation. And now I'm going to have to power wash my dead mom's driveway. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like you were lashing out because you're angry that Miles is a bestseller. Marcus, you of all people should be able to discern when I'm lashing out. Maybe you should write your own bestseller. I've considered that. It's just difficult to get any work done in this town with its possums and their screams. There was so much screaming. I need sun chips. <laughs>